Uh, those of you who suffered through two straight quarters of abysmal Monday Night Football, it was an almost unwatchable game. Uh, this happens in world football, it happens in regular football, and Monday Night Football, basically for this season, has not been the most watchable yeah. compared to Sunday Night Football. I didn't care that much. I was on a flight watching it, but mm. I also, my fantasy football team was way in front anyway. I was just waiting on uh, Odell Beckham to uh, perform. And, and he scored. And it, it still scored, and I was just like, I mean, I already won. It's just, just extra points for me. Yeah. So it was good to watch. But uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying football season this year, yeah. by the way, just so you know. Who's your favorite fantasy player on your team right now? Uh, Odell Beckham. Odell but Beckham. he, him and oh, Tom Brady, I, was, I had both. I don't know how you get these guys. You're playing like I'm a playing a league, league with myself. Just right. to practice. I'm playing for practice. Right. Uh, so <laughs> the internet was freaking out all throughout the first two quarters because, as they mentioned and they've promoted, the Star Wars Force Awakens trailer number three, not the first, not the second, the third, was going to debut at halftime. So basically, people who don't watch football ever were tuning in to Monday Night Football to watch this. So Mike Tirico huh. does this random intro that made it go 15 seconds more like I am making this go 15 seconds more because look, if we're a digital media online news network, we're gonna milk the church traffic for Star Wars Force Awakens trailer number three. Roll it! Who are you? I'm no one. I was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. Finish what you started. There are stories about what happened. It's true. All of it. Dark side. A Jedi. They're real. The Force. It's calling to you. That looks fucking amazing! Like I said, visually, this movie could suck plot-wise. It actually can. Visually, it's going to be amazing. Uh, Francis, now to put you on the spot, what was the Death Star? It's a weapon. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. What was the purpose of it? To be used ah. as a weapon. <laughs> So the Who was just, Luke Skywalker? Oh, I know Luke Skywalker, and I know Anakin Skywalker, and I know Darth Vader, and I know Harrison Ford. Who was Darth Vader? And I know Ewan McGregor. <laughs> Ewan McGregor is a Scottish guy who's oh, in it. So they, they just exposed Francis. it to the internet. I'm not a out-and-out out Star Wars fan. Yeah, I'm an out-Star Wars fan. I know. So you, right, so there's a different <laughs> level of fans. Are you the are you the Star Wars fan that is obsessed and you're going to dress up and go to it? Please credit Bart Kyle. Our sound engineer right now. Okay, but he he said he that, said he's that, that, that there are levels. Yeah, there are levels. Fans. Thank you, Bart Cal, for showing me the levels. All right, so tell me the levels because this is gonna this is gonna adjust well, our I'm, friendship. I'm, look, future. there's there's passionate, read every comic book, seen every animated series, seen every movie. I'm not that. I am strictly strictly a movies Star Wars fan. Nice. Yeah, one through six. That was me which, with uh, Lord of the Rings. Which, by the way, like they mentioned in the trailer, um, you know, the Je Jedi's are re are real. Do the characters not have seen the six movies prior to that? <laughs> what is that? The Jedi's are real. <laughs> All right. But, the, so uh, so you're not dressing up? You're not going to be a Stormtrooper? No. No. I, if I would, no. Okay. Maybe. I would like to see that. I, Maybe. I would have dressed up as, uh, like, if I went to see the Harry Potter movies uh, when they first came out, I didn't start going to see the Harry Potter movies until I read the books. The books are great. So I, And I read them as an adult. 
I didn't read them when I was growing up. I read them all as an adult, and I loved every movie. Comprehensively, you can understand them. Yes. Or? Well, I mean, I just like to read them. I, I went to the store where J.K. Rowling first wrote it, and I got inspired, so I wanted to read it. It's in Edinburgh, okay. by the way. Just let you know, another place uh, that people become inspired in Edinburgh, Scotland. Edinburgh, Scotland. Yes. Yeah. Say it how you would say it without knowing me. Edinburgh, John. There you go. I went to this kind of this place called Edinburgh. Oh, really? Did you get fries with that? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. <laughs> Not funny, uh, but so I want to I want to move on because uh, we already mentioned in this clip that it's not really sports related, uh, but we're gonna do it anyway. For a few reasons, one, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Two, you're going to be a huge Star Wars fan, and three, it was Monday Night Football. So uh, Frank Caliendo, a great voice in person, mm -hmm. uh, voice actor, voice impersonationist, I know. making that up, uh, hilariously on Mike and Mike in the morning was taking on John Gruden. If John Gruden, who's a Monday Night Football broadcaster, was watching and analyzing the Star Wars trailer, let's have a listen. Gruden had been breaking down the Star Wars trailer. Yeah, well, just, how would it have the gone? The excitement would have been over the top. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. Star Wars Episode Seven. That trailer gave me goosebumps. Tie fighters, X-wing fighters. That grayish, partially melted Darth Vader mask. It gave me chills more than the first time I saw Aaron Rodgers play the game of football, man. I tell you what, Aaron Rodgers. He's got to be a Jedi. Check out his metachlorian count. I've seen him move defenders with his mind, man. <laughs> so Frank Caliendo. You're such a dick. <laughs> uh, so Frank Caliendo uh, perfectly does a John Gruden. He perfectly does many other uh, impressions, voice actors. His Morgan Freeman is spot on, but I thought that was so great. Just the idea of, uh, you know, I've seen, down the seen Aaron Rodgers move, move defenders with his mind. <laughs> um, How was the response to this, by the way, from sports fans? Do we know... Do we know if they were taken back by this? I mean, ads are ads. Like, you're just expecting people to make money, but usually it's associated with football, What right? do you do at halftime during a football, any football game, world or regular? Well, game? no, no. Well, halftime football, beer, I grab a make pie. Some food, make some food. I grab a pie. A, a pie. A, a pie at a game. Steak pie. Really good. You never had them? Like a... Like, no, you need to chase. So you know how you said you went to the Mexico-USA game and it was your first ever soccer game? Football, yeah. Football, football game. Now, not long, you're now no longer a soccer football virgin. So Fact. congrats for that. Fact. But, um... I when you go protection. to the UK, anywhere, Scotland or anything else, certain of them have, have their signature pies. And it's a small pie about this size pastry, and it has meat in it. It's probably really bad for you, and it is fucking amazing. It's so hot that you, like, you hate your mouth because you're trying to eat it, and it's burning your mouth, but you just can't stop eating it. You burn your tongue, you burn your mouth, and it's the best thing ever. Do you guys have hot dogs? No, these, these are our version of hot dogs. We do have hot dogs, but no one gets them. You call There's yourselves guy... sports fans. Well, and this is the same thing. We can't have a guy walking through the game going, peanut. Get, your, get the fuck out my way, mate! Try to watch the game here! You're missing out, like, they can make so much more money selling hot dogs. <laughs> that is, that they're is they're exactly tasty. how I mean, They're not so hot that you can't eat them. Uh, in terms of the Monday Night Football game, how I think the rest of the world was reacting to this, I shouldn't say world, America, right? Uh, the game was so bad that by, I felt halfway through the second quarter, like, just even as a Giants fan, just get me to the Star Wars trailer at this point. There was a lot of people tuning in for that reason. They knew like at halftime, but as most, if you're not a sports fan and you don't watch football especially, you don't necessarily know when halftime is except halfway through the game. So you're probably just flipping back and forth between the channel going like, what quarter does it air? Well, it's, <laughs> uh, well I, I, but it's also really smart and it just, it, they're allowed to do it. I just find it amazing that Monday, as in yesterday, we had Ben on who was wearing a leather jacket and now Tuesday we have Francis wearing a leather jacket. Who looks better wearing it though? Start the comment uh, section. Spark out a light, oh. hashtag Ben or Francis. Easy. It's great how we can start hashtags. Mank or okay. Maxwell? Hashtag it. Leave in the comment section below. What do you think of the Star Wars trailer? That's what I want to know. He probably cares more about what you think of Odell Absolutely. Beckham Jr. and the fantasy team. No, I care more about uh, who's getting the better please, leather jacket. Please tweet at France underscore Maxwell every reason why he should be catching up on the Star Wars films. Myself at Jason Rubin 91 and at TYT Sports. Like, favorite, subscribe. We'll see you next time.